Hello guys, welcome to the second video tutorial on image processing using MATLAB. Guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read, write, and display a particular image in MATLAB. So let's take a start. So first you need to create a, a folder. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and give it name, whatever name you want to give it. So I'm giving it name like image processing. Now inside this folder, I want to keep one image inside this folder. Now open the MATLAB. It will take some time because it is a heavy integrated development environment. So keep wet, please. Now the MATLAB is ready to use. Now in a MATLAB, you can browse to the same folder which I've created now. Okay, now in the editor section of this uh, of MATLAB, you can click on this plus button and you can start writing your code. So first, uh, I will show you how to read a particular image. To read a particular image using MATLAB, you need to write I'm write function. Uh, sorry, I'm read function. The I'm read function is nothing but read all the entire pixel information of a particular image. Uh, so I'm read. The I'm read function takes input image as a parameter. So I wanna read this image one dot jpg. And I want to store the result of amirid function in a variable i or image, whatever name you want to give it. Now to run this program, you need to see, save this code. Uh, you can give it name like uh, image processing. Okay. Now click on the run button in order to run this program. You can see in the command window all the entire pixel information are read in the command window. So that's mean the mread function can read the pixel information of the RGB image. Now if you want to display this image, so for displaying a particular image, you must uh, write mshow function. The mshow function takes uh, a parameter which is the output of I'm read function so which is image You can see in this figure the I'm show function display the image which I've read before. Now if you want to write this image back in the same folder with a different name then you can do so by using the I'm write function. The I'm write function takes two parameters. The one is the output of I'm read function, and the other one is the name you want to give it. So the first parameter will be image, the result of this I'm read function, and uh, the second one will be written in a single quotes, and you can give it any name like. Uh, image dot jpg you can see in the current folder 
an image is stored in that particular folder with the name image.jpg this is basically the result of i'm right function so guys i think it's enough for today's lecture if you have any question or query regarding today's lecture you can put it in a comment